Let's turn to Nehemiah chapter 1. He was a man with passion. Passion for God. And that's what God is looking for today. People who have passion for God and love for God. And here's a man who loved the city of Jerusalem. God wants us to have feeling and love and passion for our city. He was a man. Not only he identified with the sins of the people and his forefathers. He cries out for forgiveness. He confesses the sins. He identifies himself with the sins. And then he is willing to become part of the answer to the problem. And that's amazing. He who intercedes also is the one who intervenes. And that's what God wants, please, in us. Not only intercede, but intervene in that situation. And the question is, are we willing to do that? Are we willing to become part of the answer to our own problems and our situations and our own prayers? But not only he was praying, but he was also planning. He was praying and planning. He had a passion. He prayed and he planned. Planned vision. And he tells him, or tells the king what he wants and what he wants to do. That was put in his heart by God because he prayed. He had a passion. You know, when we do things for God, and it's God's purpose and plan, there won't be any shortage. Now the time has come to pass the vision on to those leaders who would be with him. This church has a vision. and God wants those who will run with the vision. Who will be standing there ready to do what God has called us to do. Of course, there will be opposition. He faced so much opposition, friends. But nothing can stop God's movement of the Holy Spirit. God of heaven will give us success. Be ready for persecution. Be ready for opposition. But God will give us success. Amen. And if you go to chapter 3, you'll find every person joins the movement. It becomes a mighty move of God. And when it becomes a mighty move of God, nothing can stop. Because it was a people's movement and people's power. Hallelujah. God's looking for people's movement, people's power. And when there's people's movement, people's power, God's power is there to accomplish it. And he says, we've done this with help of God. All the glory goes to God. He doesn't take the glory. He gives the glory to God. Friends, this is a story of guts, grit, and glory. The glory of God. Amen?